Look at this piece of wood. Whoa, that's purple. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hello and welcome to Katie Did Rocks. I'm Kate and this is my channel. Today I'm feeling a little bit blue, so I've decided I'm gonna go rock hunting, see if I can get some rock therapy. There's something almost magical about walking in fall leaves. It's like the ground has been suddenly clothed in color. What was gray and boring is now bright. A lot of dirt was moved during the floods this season. I was here once fairly recently and hit the beaches and got some good finds. But today I'm going to head the other direction to where there are steeper banks and see if maybe I can find something that others have left behind. It's a lovely piece of fetrine wood. I love those swirls in there. First agate of the day. Pretty impressive, huh? Here's another pretty blue agate. I've gotten quite a lot of calls for tumbling size, and I don't generally pick them up, but I'm going to this time. Ooh, wow. It's got some nice dendrites. Hmm, might be just a clear one. Let's take another slice and see what happens. Well, I have to say it was kind of prettier on the outside than on the inside, but it is possible that this has some iris in it. Look at this piece of wood. At least I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's wood. I thought it was a banded jasper when I picked it up because of the color, but gosh, look at this. Oh, isn't that pretty? Wow. The Yellowstone does have some pretty magnificent petrified wood, I have to say. Whoa. That's purple. Oh, wow. That's just absolutely amazing. I've never seen purple wood before. Wow. What a nice surprise. Hopefully pretty Jasper. Whoa, look at those colors. been seeing some signs that there have been people down here, including a couple of pieces of petrified wood that were sitting on a log or sitting on top of a rock, which seems pretty suspicious. I also have seen footprints, so obviously some folks have been down here probably rock collecting, but you know, there's always something to find. Look at how pretty that is. That's petrified wood and it's got an agate center. Pretty.
Looks like it might have been a nice surprise buried in the mud. Is this an agate? It's so hard to tell with this light. I think, yes, it's a water line. Cool. Mm. That's kind of pretty. Here's another one that may be an agate. Oh, let me get my screwdriver. Here is my little screwdriver companion who is in my, my backpack all the time now. This is from a viewer named Anne who sent me this because I always forget my, I always forget my screwdriver and I can't dig stuff up very easily. And so she sent this and said that I could always take my little friend along. So thank you so much, Anne. It's going to come in handy. The screwdriver is a pal. Check this out. I'm pretty sure it's just a piece of, a chunk of petrified wood, but it's just so stripey. That's cool. That's going in the backpack. is kind of a different beach. I'm trying to follow the edge of the island all the way around and I've never done that before so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to but this is definitely not a rock collecting kind of beach. Pretty though. This is sandstone. Look at the swoosh. Isn't that beautiful? I'm trying to stay fairly close to the shoreline because these cliffs, I mean, they're probably fine but they're also made of sandstone, so something could fall at any moment. So I'm trying to stay far away from that. But there are a few rocks that I'm looking at, and uh, I'm having a wonderful adventure at the same time. These are sandstone concretions. How cool is that? Well, I've decided to turn around and head back the direction I came because the cliffs don't show any sign of stopping. And this is pretty slow going, and I don't really know if you can go all the way around the island, so I decided there was no point to being silly. But take a look at that. This is a piece of sandstone with ripple marks on it. That's so cool. This whole place used to be an inland sea once upon a time, and there's evidence of that everywhere. Wow, look at this piece of wood. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to clean that up. I was kind of expecting this one to be lighter on the inside. The, a lot of times the yellow is river staining, but this is really very pretty. Wow. Another awesome example of an ironstone concretion. I really love these things. They're totally not worth anything as far as you can't do anything with them or buy them or sell them or anything like that, but they're so cool. We're gonna go this way because there are two of these big creeks that actually crisscross the, the trail that goes back to where I wanna go. So we'll see if this is one of them. And we might find some rocks, you never know. FYI, it's very muddy. Looks like nothing but raccoons have been through here and, and maybe a deer or two. But now, it's gonna be have my feet prints in it too. I used my Google Earth map to figure out where we are and we're actually headed back to the parking area. Uh, it's awfully muddy and not terribly easy to walk here, but going straight forward is pretty much what we need to do to get back. So that's what we're doing. We finally had to go up the bank because it was too steep and I couldn't keep my footing. And when we arrived, we're right back at the picnic area. Isn't that amazing? There's really nothing better than being out in 
the fresh air, the beautiful scenery, and finding beautiful rocks. I feel a lot better. I hope you feel better too. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing. <laughs>